distribution. We redistributed, remember, it's always the routing protocol that you're, so say we go under the RIP routing process uh, and you know do a redistribute OSPF, that means that those OSPF routes on that router will be redistributed under into the RIP process and vice versa. If we go under router OSPF and do a redistribute RIP, that means that the RIP routes learned on router 2 are going to be now uh, redistributed into the OSPF process. So what that means if we go to router 3 and do a show IP route, as you can see here now is we're seeing we're seeing the router has learned via OSPF <laughs> via OSPF it's now learned of these routes being learned um, and these are the routes the rip routes coming in and they're coming in as uh, external type 2 routes with a metric of 20. So we can change the metric value too if we wanted to. Um, but what, we, what I wanted to show you here as we redistribute the RIP routes in the OSPF, if I do a show IP route 192.168.1.0, as you can see here, now you're seeing that these routes have been tagged. So I can tell on router 3, okay, these routes are coming in to router 3 with a route tag of uh, 2120. So we know that uh, router 2 is performing the redistribution and they're coming in through router 2 uh, through uh, RIP, which has an administrative distance of 120. So remember, OSPF has administrative distance of 110. So we know that these routes are being redistributed on router 2 from the RIP process into OSPF. So I can go ahead and try to ping these routes now. 192.168.1.1 and you see I have full reachability. So again, this is just a basic uh, redistribution lab. Uh, we'll get into more complex things later. I'll do like RIP into or I'll do OSPF into EIGRP and uh, some other uh, redistribution uh, scenarios, maybe redistribution between, uh, you know, mutual redistribution on several routers. Uh, we'll, we'll actually need to match, you know, we'll set the route tags and we'll be denying uh, the tags uh, in other places so that we don't uh, have black holes and routing loops uh, in our network. Um, so um, I guess that's pretty much it right now. Uh, as you can see, we just redistributed between uh, RIP version two and OSPF. Again, to verify that on router one, uh, if we do a show IP route, you can see that we have uh, three routes learned via RIP that are uh, OSPF routes. And remember on router two, we gave these values as they come into RIP from OSPF, we gave them and set the metric value of six. So in RIP, this looks like uh, it, ha it is six hop hops away. Um, also on router three, if we do a show IP route, we redistributed from router two, we redistributed from RIP into OSPF and we set again we used a route map to tag these routes with a value of 2120 so if i do a show ip route on one of these routes 192.168.3.0 you can see here that i have a route tag of 2120 2 indicates the router that we're performing redistribution on and what router is originating these routes in the OSPF domain and also the 120 will indicate uh, what it, what is the uh, administrative distance in which these routes came into the OSPF process. Uh, again, 120 is RIP, so we know that these routes were redistributed on router 2 uh, from RIP into OSPF.
and again they come in as external type 2 routes. Uh, basically in OSPF you have two different types of external routes. You have type 1 and type 2. Uh, type 2 routes I believe uh, their only difference really is the with the metrics. Uh, external type 2 routes will keep the same metric uh, no matter how many hops away or how far away this route is. Uh, from you know the source uh, whereas external type 1 routes um, every hop will uh, tag on to it a metric so the metric will uh, increment as you know the route goes through the network okay so that should be it um, that's really the only difference external type 1 uh, the metric will increment as it passes through the OSPF domain. External type 2, it's going to uh, have the same metric all throughout, however many uh, routers away it is. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll be with me with the next one. Thanks. Bye.